The army is preparing itself for a ground operation. But except of the army, I was in so many homes which were bombed, so many people who lost their, their beloved one. Nobody came to them. Nobody offers them any assistance. Israel is really falling apart from this point of view. And the man who governed Israel for the last 15 years is the one and the only one to be blamed before anyone else. This goes without saying. You can kill the current uh, uh, top people of Hamas. You cannot kill the ideology of Hamas. And they will always be replaced. The ground operation now is supported almost by all Israelis, because Israelis understand that, that we have to do something after this embarrassment, after this catastrophe. But at the same time, I must tell you, I can ensure you that if Israel will go now for a ground operation, it will take a few weeks or maybe a few months. It will take so much blood of both Palestinians and Israelis, mainly Palestinians, obviously. And by the end of this operation, you will invite me again to democracy now, and you will see that we are standing exactly in the place that we stood one week ago. Because as long as Israel continues to believe that Gaza, the problem of Gaza will be solved by the sword, solved by brutal force, by emotions of, of revenge, justified emotions, then we will get exactly to the same place. This vicious circle will not be solved by power, not be solved by tanks, and not will be, not will be solved, will it be solved by troops, only by a political agreement, and above all, and first of all, lifting this criminal siege, for God's sake, after 17 years. This siege what was about to, to guarantee the, the security of Israel. So what happened out of the siege, except of the suffer of un unbelievable, inhuman suffer of two million people, what did it contribute to the, to the security of Israel, this siege? You see the outcome.